the best I can tell, uh, there was two laps remaining. Wallace took the lead with one lap to go. Blaney spun Wallace. Bush took the lead. Carnage, and it's a massive, massive wreck at the end. The race is still not over. So I'll do my best to keep everybody posted. Now I'm trying to find out. It looked like the win goes to. Uh, I like to think it's a popular driver now. Maybe not prior to this popular now, but I'm trying to figure out who the top five is. I'll let everybody know who they are before uh, this next race. Ooh, it's going to be tight. Here's our lineup of pro buggy drivers as they make their way out of the track. Yesterday's winner, the 55 of Matt Britter, starts on the pole position. Alongside him will be Zach Drapkin in that number one red line machine. Go two inside, the 82 of Gunnar, the outside of him, the 31 of Jaden Arif. And rounding up the field is the number of Mike Scafudo. No spoilers, no spoilers, still trying to get information from my source on the NASCAR race. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it was a pretty heavy last two laps. Sir Leiden in NASCAR. Uh, race is over with. I'm trying to get the top five results. Oh. Anyone doing no dangle search in three hours? No Dang, you know, Seven o'clock. blowing the bubble. And Adam's been feeding information. Was it just a very good one? job? <laughs> I'm joking. No, Jeff retired. <laughs> he, he commentates every once in a while. Well, I'll tell you this much. I wanted to get the top five before we go to the green flag. I wanted to get to the top five. But it looked like I was uh, looking at my notes. Wallace took to the lead with one lap to go. Blaney spun Wallace. Uh, Bush went to the lead. Major carnage, major wreck. Uh, at the flag, it's Kurt uh, Kyle Bush, Eric Almorola, Chris Scher, and Chase Briscoe, our top four. All right. Well, we got Matthew Briscoe, 55. We got Zach Drapkin in the number one. <laughs> We've got Gunnar Kennedy, 82. We've got Jake Newby in the 31. And Michael Scafro in the number three. I already did that. <laughs> you just threw out like all these NASCAR names. Anybody confused thinking that uh, Kyle Bush was racing? <laughs> Which he has been off road before. Uh, Where and in what? Well, he's racing. Uh, it was a Robbie Gordon's thing. He also did a uh, truck night in America with his brother with Pistol Pete. Dad ain't racing. <laughs> Uh, 
torque race, torque Chicago Land, in Chicago the M and M's Toyota. That's right. Uh, in one of the uh, um, Jenkins cars, Jenkins Probers. Mister leads it through Zach Upton. Gunner Kennedy, Jake Uribe, and Scafuda. Brister, the winner from yesterday from round number two. What's going on with Zach? This has really surprised me right now. I know it's early in the race and all, but... First, you're starting to gap him, yeah. That's not something we usually see. And I don't think he did any, like, significant changes during the offseason. I could be wrong, but... No, Brister did. Gunner Kennedy uh, starting to get up a little close to Dropkin as Brits continues to gap the rest of the field there. Jaden Uribe kind of fighting by himself back there in fourth place. Yeah, I was just thinking that it's cool to see Gunner Kennedy in the pro buggy division because for a long, long, long time he was in the 1600 car. He did the desert buggy, then he did a, uh, a limited buggy also. Limited 1600, single buggy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. yeah uh, if you talk a limited desert, buggy, huh? The desert, yeah, 1600. He also did a regular limited buggy. Single buggy. Single buggy, limited buggy. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Torque Lucas Oil. <laughs> Prongle buggy. <laughs> Sportsman buggy. <laughs> Love that shot that they bring us. Guys from, uh, I believe, Cam, I believe, are uh, the piloting those drums at Hammer King Productions with, like, with Take It Live. Always brings the killer shots. Boy, Brister did not come out of the tail dagger turn very strong. He's having issues getting forward bite coming out of that corner. I don't know if he's getting up in the loamy stuff or what's going on because it's just out of sight from our vantage point. Well, this could be a little strategy, too, from uh, drafting. You know, I can get the best start. I'll lay back here with the comp caution and then uh, pull the trigger. We're on lap seven right now, so comp yellow should be coming out next time. Bye. Well, laps make up the distance in our pro classes. Yeah, here we go with Adam checking in again, and he's... He's voicing his opinions quite quite a bit. So, Adam, until you're out here spinning the wheels, shush. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> no, you're, oh. once again, you're not listening. Adam. Oh, Adam, yeah, I'm sorry. So the cup yellow is out as the rest of the field comes around. Uh, Mike Scafudo should be the last car by. 
I think Adam said something about Mercury was in retrograde. That's why he couldn't come. Or, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. <laughs> he says Brister's motor package is serious. It's a serious motor. That's why Zach is just smooth and makes zero mistakes. Uh, yeah. Adam, Adam, Adam just needs to learn how to put that thing on a trailer and not push into a shop. Load it onto a trailer. If you have to pay somebody to tow it here for you, and you can fly in your helicopter here. Oh. <laughs> we'll make sure we have an easy up for you for your wine and cheese. I can only afford after that saltine crackers, but <laughs> we'll park your car right next to your easy up. We'll make sure that your fire suit's nice and prepped. And pressed. I was gonna say, he you likes to have creases. creases. He's, like, he's like to. He likes to have those cowboy creases. <laughs> so we'll see now what uh, Zach Drapkin has up his sleeve. Is um, he's had an entire first half to kind of watch what Brister's doing. Two more races remaining. We got Pro Light and Pro 2 coming up to end the weekend. But here comes the green flag in Pro Buggy for the second half. <laughs> Adam, you know, am I really that much about high maintenance? <laughs> I don't know. We shared a room with Molly uh, last weekend. <laughs> Which one or more? I don't know. We'll pull both the wires with him. So I'm sure they got to that small. So in other words, there's a room full of elbows. That was one of the biggest king beds I've ever seen. I'm just kidding. Joking. Good morning. Uh, had him come out to the jet ski race. Well, at least draft is going away this time. Oh, no. What, 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 where, where, where? Where, where? Oh, right here in front of us. Gunner Kennedy. Just looping it around catches, right of us. Just as he catches up, she comes up. Got unfortunate. There's He's pulling into up. the hot pit, so we'll find out. Ah, that's a, He's a great pulling into the hot pit, so maybe he's got a tire and swap it out since he's going to be in the back of the field anyways. Um, but there will be four laps remaining when they take the green again. And to answer your question, Adam Gray, I have a funny feeling to let you know that you're a pro buggy driver. So, yeah, you are high maintenance. But he's of the highest of us because he never even... I think the hardest he works hard is to polish it because he never. I was gonna say, never pro buggy I've ever seen. <laughs> it, it, it's going to be 2050, and that is going to be still seen. Next hands and shiny, but the flat spots on the tires are. No, it, <laughs> yeah, it'll be. Yeah, there's a whole 30 on this car. <laughs> All right, the Toyota Redlands. Time to pull off the track. Brister. Kennedy has a point. Yet. So he's still in the pit. That could change it up a little bit, B. Good to see that podium there. Oh, look at this. What happened there? Brister went way to the outside. He's slowing. Our leader is slowing. He's falling to third. He might even fall back to fourth. But that will put Zach Drafting up in the lead. Majorly missed the shift or popped out of something. Yeah, that's not very uncharacteristic of uh, the way Brister drives. Like. He seems to be back at speed. But, man, major, major mistake. Almost two full straightaways. Not at race speed. And it looks like he still has issues. And I'll venture to bet it is a it is a gearbox. 
Yeah, he is definitely not on in pace. He's slowing down. Just clutch or something. You have to have the dead stick. Well, that didn't take. White flag will be coming up this time around. And, and that's, laughs. that's how short course could just bite you in there. Keister. In the honey. Oh, man. It, it, I cannot remember exactly how many races Jeff King came back in the pro light days. Lost a race on the last lap. Pop in a motor. Oh, I'm talking like 15, 16, 17 times, I think. That, that's hard, but here, that's tough. Yeah, Brister's having major issues. I'll put money on his gearbox. But the white flag's coming out for Zach Drapkin. Tell you, Jaden Uribe's getting the hang of it, man. He, I just watched that car pop this jump right here in front of us and fly sideways through the air and land in turn one. So one time up to the Talladega left-hander, down back straight away into that final turn. And Zach's the kind of guy, he doesn't like to win this way, but he'll take it any way he can get it. A win's a win and a win. Yeah. No matter how you get it. And the checkered flag's in hand, and Zach Drapkin, in that red on number one, is going to win second to Jaden Uribe, and third, tough luck award goes to Brister. With Scafudo right there in fourth. Pro lights, then pro twos. Good way to cap off again. Oh, so guess what? I get a picture of Adam's brand new motor. Um, he got it Friday. It's getting close. I've been here getting close crap now. What? A season and a half? You know? And how do we even know what's his, his car? It's just a close up of a motor. It is clean, though. Oh, gosh, yeah, if he said. So we'll bring our top three finishes up to the podium one more time. With two races remaining, we got Pro Buggy coming up to the podium. And Daryl headed out trackside to talk to them.
It's a new time. So I'm on top of the box. I'm getting there before anybody. Else. Isn't it always fun you have parts you just pull off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I've, I've been trying to uh, get, you know, Roy in my phone for a while, so now I've got a good reason to order a bunch of parts from him. He uh, pretty much lies the whole back half of his car, so now he's be doing the front half. Uh, the race was awesome. That track was really, really well set up for how I did my car. And, uh, you know, it just, uh, everything was coming together for me, and then you know, small mechanicals like this happen. I'm uh, super fortunate to get up on the box. I'm kind of bummed that Gunner got taken or got out of the race. So, uh, you know, he'll be back at the next one, and I know he'll be a force to run with, and I won't be able to get away with this. Um, I got to thank my sponsor, Mike Ward. He's awesome um, inside of my ear the whole time. He's giving me updates. Uh, my whole team had radios, thanks to Rugged Radius um, and uh, Parker Pumper for supplying them. So, thank you guys. You, you give all the communication we need. King Shocks, I, my back feels great. That thing drives like a troll truck out there. So uh, I, I got to thank Albert, everybody, for supporting me. Um, Vision Canopies for supporting me with Canopies. Thank you guys very much, and I hope you were watching. Roush Performance for giving us a bullet. Um, you know, you need every you can get, and uh, with this sealed motor pass, you gotta you gotta really find some uh, find some speed out there. So with our engine transmission package, I think we really. Hit. Um, my family, Ask Monkey Performance Engineering, thank you guys for supporting me. I'm very lucky to be able to drive an amazing car like this. Um, all of my competitors as well, these guys, they drive me very lean, and uh, I can trust them on the inside or on the outside of every car. I, I have no fears of uh, doing any stunt driving with them. The Ward family, the Brister family, the Locker family, uh, Tom, thank you for coming out and supporting us, and uh, all of the fans, Lee Poppy, thank you guys very much in front of an event and letting us do this stuff. Give it up for Matt Brister yeah. one more time. The money himself still at the podium. And Brisky would not keep him down. But over to J.J. Reeby, he's going to say, okay, that's fun. One thing, uh, Scott and I are both watching. And we're like, boy, James really starting to get We watch you come off this jump here. And you're already setting up. And you're getting sideways to the turn. That's the difference, like, you know, a couple seconds into the race. Yeah, it definitely helped. I got the car pointing to where you want to before you're even on the ground, for sure. I'm going to be honest, it's a little scarier than that, but it gets a little bit more fun every time, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Uh, it was definitely an interesting race on my end. The first half, there wasn't too much going on. I trying to follow Gunner, and then I tried to just do a little experimental lines. didn't work out too well. almost over-rotated myself. Got super spaced out, and then I was like, all right, we're just going to run our own pace and see what kind of lines we want to run in the second half, and did just that. So when we went green on the second half, you're right there in the moment. We're with everybody, and unfortunately, Gunner hit the barrier, and thankfully I was able to 
dodge that. It was definitely close for sure. I had thread the needle, but I uh, hope he's okay. And uh, then after that, we went a few more laps and Matt pushed wide. I was like, that's the opportunity I need right there. And then I got in there. I was trying to hunt down Zach and see if I could reel him in, but I think I was losing a little bit of tire pressure. It's starting to get hard on the left-handers. But other than that, I'm super happy with that. Well, that's awesome. It's great to see you progress. And so many people make this program work for you. Yeah, uh, I want to start off mom, dad, Barry, the man. Thank you for guiding me through the track. Uh, Barry Sr. as well for sending out my yeah. suspension, getting me dialed in. Uh, Danny Fodrell, thank you so much. And uh, JW for filming. Poppy and Lee for putting on this event. Thank you. And anybody else for getting, thank you as well. Give it for JW, everybody. A great yeah. job there. Zach, defending champion in this class. Target on your back. And now... You got the monkey literally off your back by getting the win. Well, I would say that whole race, but I was chasing the monkey, so it was really a blast chasing them. I got to say, pretty much said it himself, I love racing with him because no one wants to make contact with each other, and he ran me clean, I had him clean. I think we bumped a little bit, but we will, so that's racing, but I'm stoked to be back up here. Yesterday was such a great race. I kind of kind of muscled myself uh, for after the first corner, or last corner yesterday, and just, I really my race because I was just angry at myself so today i knew just keep on cool, calm cool collected and look where we're at we're back on top of the box where we want to be well definitely awesome there's great people behind you that get you the top of the box oh yeah my whole team that back mom my dad my brother everyone that's with me carson's in the hot pit today because my brother's working the ambulance so he's not here uh red line oil for back that's that car stayed 167 more times for the whole race we don't even get close to 200 so i'm stoked for that um, Scott of Elsinore, Signature Repellers, Chad, Jake, Jordan, Corey, Jordan and Corey are at home. Jordan won, hopefully won our soccer game. And Lumacraft, Competitive Edge, built me a bull. Down South does my suspension. DJ, uh, Weddle Industries, OMF, Cinefab, all the guys that back me. Kevin McMullen built that Mendiola to the top. And that thing has been great. I love love shifting gears with the third pedal. So that's the way we go. And Especially thanks to everybody that's out here, especially Lee and Poppy. They put on a great series with me out here. And all my friends that come out and speak, they're always my best friends. Good job, can everybody make it a great performance on the boxer? We give it up one more time for Bruce Chin. Jr. and of course, Drab can take the top honor. Well, thanks, Dave. And once again, congratulations. You know, that's fine. Give it to Dave's whining about his chocolate. I, I got one from an Ian Fee. 